Hey everybody, Jerome and Ashley here from Atmosphere Collectibles, and we have a combo video. We have some new sealed records and some used priced and graded records. Uh, sorry for the delay in the videos. I know our videos have been sporadic, more sporadic lately, but we're, we're working, working hard to try to get them back up to par. So, uh, first up, this re these are first time on vinyl and uh, from a band that we love. And we're so excited about him. Uh, we've got Morphine, uh, Like Swimming is uh, pressed on opaque blue vinyl. And we have The Night pressed on uh, orange translucent wax. So we're big fans of the band Morphine. Um, there is a documentary about the band. Uh, you would probably want to search up Morphine the Band documentary. Great documentary, uh, great music. And um, yeah. Definitely one of my favorite bands been waiting for this one for the longest time. We also have the Hypnosonics records and that's uh, Mark Sandman. Mark Sandman from Morphine. So if you like Morphine, definitely check out Hypnosonics and then definitely check out these two reissues. Also coming out this Friday, we have the new Cannibal Corpse, uh, Chaos Horrific. Uh, we have two different uh, color variants. I, I know one of them says Fog Marble, and then I think the other one I grabbed was Dreamsicle, maybe? Um, I think they're mixed in here somewhere. Orange, orange marble. marble. Yeah. Fog Marble and Orange Marble. Now, the Fog, I believe, is the indie exclusive. So, um, so this is uh, Barbie the Album. So it's a soundtrack to Barbie the movie, uh, which was a huge hit. I believe that this was like the web store exclusive. This was traded in, but it's still sealed. So. Also, we've got uh, Dying Fetus, Make Them Beg for Death, uh, which is a fantastic record. I think I grabbed two different variants of that one, too. Um, so yeah, that, the blue and then Splatter. So let us know if you want either of those, and we've got we can get more into. Uh, so we've got the church, the hypnogog. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right, uh, but yeah, this uh, brand new from the church. Jerome's a big fan of that group. I've not, I've not uh, heard that one, but I mean, we'll definitely be picking one up. And speaking of picking one up, uh, mm -hmm. we have uh, unholy uh, deification incantation. Which, when we got the incantations in, uh, for some reason, we got gotten the wrong incantations. No, that's me. It's not just for some but, reason. It was uh, my fault. But they reissued a couple older ones beautiful. at the same time. And one of the heaviest bands ever, and just consistent. Never a bad record. Uh, also, we've got Carly Simon and Jack Holzman's story, These Are the Good Old Days. So this is selections from Carly Simon's first three albums, Lovingly curated and sequenced by Electra founder Joe or Jack Hol Holzman with Ted Olson, plus liner notes and featuring memories from Jack and Carly. So also on 180 gram black vinyl, we have Comfort Eagle Cake. Yeah, I'm so excited. I love that they're doing these cake reissues. It's about being time. Um, also got uh, Green Day. Insomniac, this is the 25th anniversary deluxe version that has a bonus record of live tracks in this cool color. We have some Taylor Red back in stock. Yeah, that's the normal version of Red. Um, I should have Reputation in my next shipment, and I didn't, <laughs> those are supposed to be Reputation, but uh, I mean, everyone wants both the old and new oh, Taylor, yeah. so it's all good. Uh, okay, so this is a big reissue that came out this past Friday, and it's Story of the Year, Page Avenue. Uh, this is a 20-year anniversary. It is an indie exclusive colorway. Um, it doesn't say what the specific color is. I, I'll have to look that up, but colored vinyl for sure. And yeah, definitely grab that while they're out and in print. Uh, Rustin in the Rain, indie exclusive green colored vinyl, Tyler Childers, Childers, however you say his name. We have a big poster of him in the window. Mm -hmm. um, all right, so we got 
I had, this came out a few months ago, but I uh, had a special order for the Flaming Lips Plague Test. I can, I can get more of those if you like. Uh, Great Topsy, yes, Gamora Burns. These are uh, gold and black galaxy vinyl. The big, really big title from last Friday is the brand new album from Baroness. It's called Stone. And we have an indie record store exclusive on Ruby Red Vinyl. I also have a few um, art prints um, for the first people who grab them. Um, freaking awesome. That's a really big deal. Uh, Smart Cannibal Chorus. Oh, yeah. Smart Cannibal Chorus. Um, STP. This is uh, Purple. Atlantic uh, 75. Purple. And then also, I had a special order for the Stone Temple Pilots MTV Unplugged. Um, Dizzy Up the Girl, back in stock for a while. This album was uh, going for a crazy money. Right. Head. This is a brand new reissue that came out last Friday. We're just, I got ours late. It is the 25th anniversary limited edition on metallic silver vinyl. So, yeah, before this reissue came out, it had been out of print. All copies of it, like we're selling for a bunch of money or hard to find. So super excited because I get asked for that record often and um, I don't always have it in. Also, I got uh, Lannis Morissette, Jagged Little Pill Acoustic. And then I think we should have... Taylor, 1989. Uh, also, Alanis Morissette, The Collection. Uh, this is 19 of Alanis Morissette's classic hits. It's a 2LP. This is a black vinyl. I had a special order for the black vinyl. But I also have... Um, Jagged Little Pill, the normal version of Jagged Little Pill, just came back in stock, and it had been out of stock for a while. So if you do need that, up until I, uh, last week, I couldn't, you know, I couldn't get any in, but now I guess it's done. This is a limited edition, first pressing on clear vinyl, yellow card, childhood eyes. Yes. Are they the ones that do I have the violin player, I think? I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I had a special order for Radiohead, The King of Limbs. Oh. Might need in rainbows. I don't know. I'll have to double check that. <laughs> uh, Operation Doomsday. MF Doom. Uh, this is Slaughter to Prevail at Colostum, or I can I don't remember how you pronounce this, but this band is really blown up, and their records uh, go in and out of stock. So I, I grab them when I can. Kendra Morris, Nine Lives. Yes, that's for Mark, and that's a perfect album. It's so good. I mean, I love all of her stuff, but that's probably my favorite. Also, I had a special order for the Steely Dan Pretzel Logic, uh, the most recent reissue. Did you the show that one? Mm -hmm. And then I also, are you out of new? Yeah. I've already okay, yeah. Uh, so the last one is the newest from Allison Russell, and this is called The Returner, and um, it's on neon coral colored vinyl. All right, so we've got go some to... use to uh, show you guys. All right, so in no particular order. <laughs> uh, all right, so this is a 2017 Record Store Day limited edition of 3,000 copies on white vinyl. It is Moondog self-titled. Um, so that's pretty cool. All right, I've got a uh, Bluewood Mac Rumors with a textured cover. Oh, I don't know if we've shown these in a video. This is the last new, I guess. We've got Olivia Rodrigo's newest album called Guts, and this is a limited edition lavender vinyl. I uh, really like what I've heard on this, and uh, I don't know if we've shown that in a video yet. So. This is a 2023 uh, compilation, uh, limited edition, Alkaline Trio Remains. We should have, yeah, I don't know. Um... We got more alkaline trio here. Oh, okay, cool. Uh, so yeah, we also have this is a one, two, three, four Go Records exclusive numbered copy of Alkaline Trio. <laughs> Gee, damn it! And it's limited of a one thousand on Magenta Blood Drop. Wow. We also have Maybe I'll Catch Fire limited to a thousand. Twenty twenty three print uh, orange with red splatter. Uh, we also have some of the Lawrence Arms. Uh, so this is from 2018, and it's called We Are the Champions of the World. And then we have The Greatest Story Ever Told from 2003. 
and O oh, Calcutta from 2016. It's a reissue. So we got Towns Van Zandt Sky Blue Limited Edition 2019 Press on Blue Vinyl. Great artist. So this is a pretty cool one. Uh, this is uh, Steely Dan, Asia or Aja, whichever way I say it, I get corrected on it. So, but this is a limited edition uh, yellow translucent vinyl from 1977. It's got this like little sticker up here that says, you know, limited edition, and uh, I think it's a Canadian import. Um, but yeah, it's really nice condition. Fever to tell, yeah, yeah, yeah. The Descendants, uh, Hypercafium Spazinate. Uh, this is from 2016. Now the artwork, like all the white on the cover, it's glow in the dark, uh, but the record itself is black. But uh, American Football, this is half black, um, single-sided, half red. Uh, this EP. is a 2009 American Football subtitle. Um, Postal Service Give Up, uh, 2023, 20th anniversary, blue metallic splatter. I've got The Doors, Greatest Hits, uh, compilation from 1980, excellent comp, love The Doors. Uh, Dysphoria Problems, uh, So Glow, 2023, white vinyl. That's like really, really popular, uh, like hardcore. Prince, Piano and a Microphone, 1983. So this was pressed in 2018. Have Heart, Songs to Scream at the Sun. This is a 2022, 25th anniversary edition, limited to 1,000 silver vinyl. I have another from that same band. Um, we'll come across it eventually, but yeah, I have another from that band, Have Heart. It's just mixed in here somewhere, but... Um, you can, you can go ahead. <laughs> Rush, All the World's a Stage, uh, 1976, tripod cover. We don't get a lot of Rush in. Well, I still have Chronicles out there right now, which... Archives. Uh, archives, yeah. It's like multiple records, which to me it seems like a great bargain. Uh, I've got some Neil Young. Uh, there's probably more than this, but we've got Young Shakespeare from 2021. This is a live album that was recorded in 1971. Uh, we have Neil Young and Crazy Horse called Toast. This has got an etched D side, so it's two records. This is an interesting Neil Young. It is called Landing on Water. It's from 1986, and it's like Neil Young with a drum machine, kind of like New Wave Neil no Young. <laughs> uh, Neil Young Tonight's the Night. This is an original a first pressing. It's got the textured cover. It does have like an insert uh, of Tonight's the Night. And there could be more mixed in, but that's all I've grabbed all together. Right. <laughs> uh, it's not stopping, is it? No, it's going. Okay. Uh, so we have the Almond Brothers self-titled from 1969. Uh, we got Bob Dylan, Empire Burlesque from 1985. You want to go ahead and show the boot? Yeah. So this is a pretty cool, it's an unofficial, or it's a bootleg concert. Uh, Bob Dylan with Tom Petty and the Heartbreakers, and it's called the 4th of July Song and Dance. Uh, it's a two-record set. Um, I have not listened to it yet. I'll probably throw it on to see how, if it's like a soundboard mix or not. But, uh, yeah, it says uh, Shogun Records, I guess. We got Caravan Sierra Santana from 1972. Never see this in this kind of shape. Oh, here's my other half heart. So this is called The Things We Carry, and it's a 25th anniversary edition, limited to 1,000 on silver vinyl. Also, both of these have hearts. The cover uh, is different. You know, it's a silverized or whatever, metallic. Uh, Moody Blues. This is the Moody Blues compilation from 74. We got a couple of drums favorite. We got DRI, Dealing With It. This is a 2020 reissue. Classic. And Dirty Rotten LP, the first classic. I remember I arranged a trade for Jerome to get an original print of that, like when I first got oh, active on a, on a, whatever you call it, the Facebook groups. That was a big score. Uh, so we've got an original print in the shrink 
from 1976 of Budgie Bandolier, which finding bu uh, original Budgie in like VG Plus Good condition is not strange. super easy. Um, I feel like it's a great rock if you're not familiar. Jazz Rock 12 benefit. We got a Sturgill Simpson, A Sailor's Guide to Earth. So this is a limited edition blue vinyl from 2016. It comes with like a little poster insert. The Argent Anthology, Greatest Hits. Ah, uh, I don't know. I've got some Aerosmith. So we've got Get Your Wings from 1974. Toys in the Attic. Uh, from 75. And from 76, we've got Rocks. I probably have more Aeros Aerosmith to yeah, go there's, out. Yeah, there's quite just... a bit more Aerosmith to go. Uh, Van Halen, Women and Children First from 1980. And there'll be more Van Halen going on before this weekend. All right, so this is a pricey one. And one, I get asked for Dolly Parton all the time. But this, and, and in addition to that, this is uh, her debut solo album, Hello, I'm Dolly. And it's from 1967. It's original print, and it's in excellent condition. It's a little bit more price. It's a pricier uh, aftermarket it's on price. The monument label. Yeah, it's on that monument label, and it's in excellent condition. And then, uh, so I've got that. And then I've also got the Vinyl Me Please from 2023 Limited on blue vinyl of uh, Blue Smoke. Uh, I did have someone reach out and ask me about this one, but or before I got it in. Ask if I could get it, um, so, but I haven't heard back. So we got it's Rock and Roll on. Diary from 1967 to 1980. Lou Reed. I've got a first and a second press of Pink Floyd The Wall. So you can take your pick. <laughs> there you go. All right. Got a Station to Station David Bowie, David Bowie 2017 180 gram press. Uh, we got Willie Nelson, Always On My Mind. Now, this is a 2015 Friday Music reissue on blue vinyl. It's a gatefold. And then I've also got a sealed copy of The Promised Land from 1986. Got Blondie, uh, Eat to the Beat, 1979. Tammy Nelson, Don't Be Afraid. Uh, if you're into rockabilly, you definitely should check out Tammy Nelson. She's got a great voice. Some of her stuff has a country vibe to it, but it's got that rockabilly vibe. Really, really great stuff. We've got the Yardbirds, For Your Love, 1965. This is a mono first press. Uh, great condition. For some reason, we don't sell a lot of Yardbirds. We should. But, uh, um, yeah, Yardbirds is awesome. We've also got this 2LP compilation from 1970. And it's the Yardbirds featuring performances by Jeff Beck, Eric Clapton, and Jimmy Page. Two records. So that is the only condition. official record to have all three of them on it. I mean, it's a compilation, obviously, but um, there's one more Yardbirds. I don't know. I think you have it up there by the stereo. No, there's another one. Oh, okay. Uh, we've got Stevie Wonder, Songs in the Key of Life. So this is from 1976. It's got both 12-inch records, the 7-inch record, and the booklet. And it's in really great condition. Find me the covers. Uh, Nilsson, Sonus Nilsson from uh, 1972 with the poster. It's got a cutout, unfortunately, but uh, great shape. We've got a decent amount of Johnny Cash. We've got Any Old Wind That Blows from 1973. I've got a Ragged Old Flag in the Shrink from 1974. Um, also in the Shrink, I've got. Uh, Look at Them Beans from 1975. And we've got uh, The Junkie and the Juice Head Minus Me from 1974. Yeah, I love that title. Uh, I've got more uh, that's just all I had grouped together. So, so we've got ACDC Back in Black, 1980, Embossed, Gray Print. And we got For Those About to Rock, 1981, Specialty Press, Gatefold, also Embossed. I got another. It's This is Johnny Cash and June Carter Cash, and it's called Johnny Cash and His Woman. And it's from 1973. It's I'm also in the street. Yeah. <laughs> this is woman. All right. So I've got a band on the run, uh, Paul McCartney and Wings. This is a half speed master. So a little pricey, but it sounds fantastic. Got Bob Dylan, Greatest Hits from 1972. 
Uh, Discovery Electric Light Orchestra. I've also got a VG Plus copy of Out of the Blue from ELO. Have uh, you already done those? Um, no. So just... No. All right. All right. We have uh, Rian Giddens. Rihanna. Rihanna yeah. Giddens. Yeah. They're calling me home from 2021. She's got a really amazing voice. Uh, so this is a Barnes & Noble exclusive on Ruby Red Vinyl of the newest album from Gorillaz called Cracker Island. All right, so we got a Boston, Boston. However, this may be the best copy <laughs> that you are going to ever see. It's always an anomaly. Now, it is a second like, press. It's got the barcode, but it's in fantastic condition. The cover is so bright, I almost didn't recognize what it was. <laughs> I mean... <laughs> Mm. Yeah, Super Tramp, even in the quietest moments. Now, this is a pricey one, but it is a uh, audiophile series version. It's half and... speed mastered and it's on JVC Super, uh, Super Vinyl. Super Vinyl is so... what it's called, but it's from 1981, I believe. We've got uh, the 20, 20th anniversary reissue, limited and numbered on gold vinyl of Spider-Man, the original motion picture score by Danny Elfman. Uh, 1970, Clayton's Clearwater Revival, Cosmos Factory, and... The vinyl's in good shape. The vinyl's in great shape. We got a reissue from 2014 of Jimi Hendrix Experience, Are You Experienced? The Black Album, The Damned, uh, 1980, original U.S. Terre Haute Pressing. Uh, we've got Sharon Van Etten, Epic. This is a 2010, like acoustic indie rock. Good stuff. Uh, when We Fall Asleep, Where Do We Go? Billy Ellis. This is 2019 Glow in the Dark Vinyl. I've got Baby Strange, World Below. This is a UK import from 2022 on red vinyl. And they're kind of like a punk rockish from Scotland, I believe. You haven't done the rock music, have you? No. I got the best of Roxy Music. This is 2022, 180 gram, half speed remaster, Roxy Music. And I have uh, it's like a single, right? Yeah, this is uh, Can't Let You Go, My Own Love, Like a Hurricane, and Jealous Guy, Roxy Music, 12 inch single. We've got Endless Boogie, and the album's called Long Island. So this is kind of psych rock from 2013. We got Queen, A Night at the Opera, 1975, original and Boz cover. Uh, the soundtrack to Clockwork Orange from 1972. I've done this. Or, or do you think, or do you look for something? Well, yeah, there was some stuff in there. I wanted to make sure we got to. Um, Matthias Bird, These 13. Uh, Jimbo Mathis and Andrew Bird, These 13. 2021 limited edition gray marble. These in the front, I haven't done. Okay. Uh, I've got a couple of Rolling Stones. So we've got Exile on, My on Main Street. This is a 1972 original pressing, but it does not have the insert postcards. And then we've got Rolling Heads, Rolling Stones, Goat Goat's Head Soup. This is an original pressing from 73, and it does have the insert print of the Goat, goat Head Soup. All right, I don't know. I thought there was some dystopia in there. Yeah, it's in your pile. Oh, okay. Uh, Margot Price, Strays. This is Black Vinyl, 2023. Uh, we've got a couple of Off With Their Heads. So we've got Hospitals. This is from 2022 on Royal Blue and Clear Cloudy Vinyl. And then we have Home. Orange, yellow, and black splatter, municipal waste, uh, fatal feast, uh, waste in space. The scree screeching weasel, anthem for a new tomorrow. Um, this is on blue vinyl, um, and it does. It's a 30th anniversary remix, limited edition blue vinyl. 2014 compilation on clear vinyl, dystopia. Human equals garbage. This is a great band, ultra heavy. That's the two LP version. Uh, Stand still, a practice in patience from 2021. 
Uh, it's a single-sided record. It's post-hardcore slash hardcore. Okay, this is a cool one. This is Azos. Um, and it's a uh, frog symphonic sounding record. It's still in the shrink. They were from Fort Wayne, Indiana. It's uh, just one you don't see every day. It's still in the shrink. Uh, this is from Dark Thoughts, and it's called At Work. Dark Thoughts, At Work. It's some punk rock from 2018. All right, we have uh, Wings, Wings Over America. This is the 1976 um, two red lights, three green on the front, none on the back, Jacksonville pressing. So this group is called Monster Truck, and this album is called Warriors. And it's from 2022, and they're a hard rock band from Canada. And there was a sticker on the front that says, don't F with the truck. Um, but there, it, it confused me because there's also a band called Warriors, but this is a band called Monster Truck, and the album is the called logos Warriors. The are really similar. Too. Yeah, so that's why I thought uh, that was, like, related or something. Um, so. so this is Elton John, uh, Don't Shoot Me, I'm the Only Piano Player, and the book, and this is in great shape. You never see. <laughs> uh, this is 2022, No Maz, and the album's called Consume, Deny, Repent. It's limited to 500 on Oxblood and Black Mix Vinyl. Yeah, we saw them with the Chrome mags, and they were great. Chrome really liked it. I mean, our, I mean, it was good. Like, uh, we got some Almond Brothers. We've got Eat a Peach from 1972. Um, and then we have Idle uh, Wild South from 1970. All right, uh, Billy Joel, 52nd Street, 1978. Oh, here's the other Yardbirds. Mm -hmm. So this is called London Gets Blues in the Night. And it's live, it's got Jeff Beck, live 1967 and 1965. So is this like a bootleg? It is a bootleg. Yeah. Uh, this is really cool. It's a good sounding uh, boot, though. Yeah, that's cool. So, this is uh, Rainbow Straight Between the Eyes, 1982 Club. Um, yeah, this is the one with Cholin Turner on vocals. We've got uh, a couple of Herbie Hancocks. We've got Herbie Hancock's Thrust from 1974. And then I've got Herbie Hancock's Six. Tant, sextant from 1973. We also have uh, VSOP, uh, the quintet. Uh, we've got Todd Rundgren, Runt, the Ballad of Todd Rundgren from 1971. Yeah. Uh, sticks, Man of Miracles. That's on Wood and Nickel. That's early sticks. Uh, Brownie McGee, and it's called Brownie's Blues. So this is a, it's on Bluesville, and it's, this is a 1984 pressing, and um, it's recorded by Rudy Van Gelder, um, and it's on Prestige, Bluesville. So, super cool. Uh, Zeppelin 4, 1977, RCA Club, SRC. So this is a cool uh, import compilation of Johnny's, Johnny Rivers. It's called Rock and Roll Years. So this comp came out in 1987. Uh, thank you, Happy Birthday, KG Elephant, 2011, single-sided, seven with single-sided yeah. seven inch. Uh, Manford Man, The Mighty Quinn from 1968. Uh, it says Big Betty and Manford Quinn. The Manford song. Quinn. Yeah. Oh, I love the artwork on it. Looks yeah. really cool. Um, Two Trips with Jesse Colin Young's The Young Bloods. Um, this is a 1970 reissue with alternate cover, and it came out the same year, but it's like folk rock blues. Yeah, it's sort of bluesy folk. I feel like someone asked me for The Young Bloods recently, and I can't remember. Um, rock Pile, Seconds of Pleasure. Gary Burton Quartet, Easy as Pie. So this is jazz from 1980. And it's on the label ECM. We have more of that to go out. 1972, to. who came first, Pete Townsend? 
The Unseen, Explode. This is a 2003 punk rock. Live Cream, Volume 2, Cream. Mogwai, Music Industry 3, Fitness Inter Industry 1. This is a 2014 EP. It's got six tracks. It's ambient, post-rock. 1979, Tom Petty and the Heartbreakers, Dan Scopito. The New Pornographers, Brill Bruisers. This is a 2014 indie rock. Uh, festival Tapes. Um, live in... Uh, Telluride. Telluride, yeah. So this is like progressive blues... Uh, what is that called? Bluegrass. <laughs> it's bluegrass. <laughs> uh, Pink Floyd, The Dark Side of the Moon. This is a 1975 Jacksonville pressing. I don't ha does not have the inserts, but it's in great, great condition otherwise. All right. We've got uh, Sun Records, um, curated by RSD Volume 4. Uh, how much more you got in there? I've done this side. Okay, we can probably go ahead and stop. Well, this. I want to show this one. So this is Jorma Kakonen, I don't know how to pronounce it, but it's called Too Hot to Handle. It's like country blues from 1985, and it's one of the founding, he's one of the founding members of Jefferson Airplane. Uh, so this is on Rounder Records, and um, yeah, I know on Record Store Days in the past they've reissued some of the Jorma Kakonen, or however you pronounce it, but this is a... Uh, so that's something we don't see all the time. We bought a large classic rock collection, and as you can tell, we're just getting some of it out. But uh, we'll be putting the rest of it out this weekend. Lots of Fleetwood Mac, Stevie Nicks, that type of thing. Tom Petty, Bob Dylan, Neil Young, yeah, Super Tramp, uh, Allman Brothers. Pretty much runs all classic rock. So thank you for watching our videos, uh, and. We'll get a new video up as soon as possible. <laughs> All right. Yeah, we, we got a new one coming as soon as our order gets here. And because we are waiting on another order. <laughs> Bye.